In this video, we will show you how to set up the uh, Flip Normals iKit for Blender. I've already set up a quick scene with a character, and this is most likely the case you're going to be working with the iKit. You're probably not going to be working on the scene by itself. You're probably going to be importing into a new scene like this. The way we do that is we go to File, Append, go to the, um, the VFX folder, then we go to Scene Files, and here we have the Blend file. So just click Flip Normals iKit Blender, and under here, we have the collections. And here we have the different collections. So if you want to bring in all of them, you can totally do that. So now we can bring in all the different eye colors we have. Hit append. And now these will appear over here as a collection. So now you can see we have all of them here. So I'm just going to hide some of them. because we only have one visible right now. So now we have the blue collection enabled. And if we go into the material preview, you can see that now we have the eye enable like this, and it uses EV for a material preview. And it looks great, apart from the fact that it looks a bit funky here. And this is because real-time reflections and refractions have not been set up, or sorry, screens-based reflections. So we go under the render settings, and we change the render engine to EV. And then we go under screen space reflections, we enable that. And then we go screen space refractions. And now it's gonna recompute, re and there we go. Now you can see we have two eyes. We have this is a bit annoying. This is um, this is uh, due to the way Blender works with collections. You can see that uh, we have um, the deletion and the neutral enabled. So by default, you only want one of these to be enabled at any one time. But when you were to when you enable a collection and disable the collection, it's going to make everything in the collection visible. So you just have to be on top of that. Also, as a heads up as well, you will have to go under the filters or the toggles, and you will have to enable the disable and render as well. So that if you dis if you enable, if you make it invisible, invisible in the viewport, it will also become invisible in the render. So now we want only the deletion to be enabled. In order to move it up, we can click on the controller, and then we can first go to the front view, hit the G key, and just move it up, it's in the center. Then we go to right view, and just move it forward, like this. And then we can scale it down just a little bit. Keep in mind that this uses a displacement map. So if you scale this too much, you will have to rebalance the displacement map. The displacement map is done as a modifier. So if we click on the um, dilation or on any on any iris, and then we go to the modifiers, here you can see displacement, and here you can see the strength of the displacement. So if this is uh, if you scale this up by twice, you will have to enable, you will have to compensate by that by changing the strength as well. The cool thing about this being a modifier is that this works in both EV and cycles. If you want to dilate the eye, you can also easily do that. Ch click on iris dilation, and then we go down to the object properties, and then we have a shape key. If we change this to zero, then it's gonna go crazy. It's go, gonna go really contract like this. And if we set this to be one, it's really going to open. So you can easily animate this. You can set a shape, you can set a, a keyframe on this, and that this will animate the actual shape key. This only works on this specific object. That's why we have two of them. If you don't care about any dilation, you can just use a neutral. This is a bit simpler to use. There's no shape key involved, and it might just make your life a little bit easier. If you want to duplicate this, you can right-click on the collection, and you can say duplicate collection. And now we will get two of them. Then you simply click on the um, controller in the viewport and just move it over like so. And there you go. Now we have nice eyes like this. We're just gonna change the render engine to cycles and we can see the render change over here. So now we have instant nice eyes in Blender. If you zoom in, you can really see how, how detailed you can go where there really isn't a limit to how close you can go like this. So if you want to change the resolution of the texture, you can go to your shading tab, and then we change this to object. We go to our character, just view selected. We just click on the object you want. And here you can see that this uses, um, this uses a 2K map. And we can change this to use a 4K map or a 512 map, simply by going out of the folder, just going up once to Scalera. We can set this to 1K, and we can set this to 
be Sclera Albedo 1K. And there we go. We have now replaced the Albedo with a 1K map. So that's the iKit for you in Blender. It's incredibly easy to use. Simply append the file into it and then scale it up and down, move it around so it fits your character. If you're using Eevee, make sure to change enable screen, -based, screen space reflections and then refractions as well.